Hello and welcome to boil down day. You can see we have our large boiler pan already going on our mortar boiler unit in the background there. Let me just talk to you real quick about pan selection, okay? Because this is kind of a critical element to determine how much sap you can boil on a given day. Okay, we have a few different uh, pans that I've used over the years. Um, right here we have a, a copper kettle that I used. Uh, here is a stock pot, uh, about 26 quarts or roughly six gallons. And then here's a smaller one, uh, about two and a half gallons. Um, when you're selecting a pan, keep in mind that um, it's surface area that's gonna determine how fast you can boil your sap. For example, we have this copper kettle. It's about one foot wide, about two feet long. So you have roughly about two square feet of uh, surface area on the bottom. Over our wood fire, you'll maybe uh, boil about two and a half, maybe three gallons per hour on a unit like this. This one's roughly the same thing. Now when we uh, go over and show you our large boiling pan, it's got dimensions of about uh, two feet wide by four feet long. So you're looking at about eight square feet of surface area, which will give you about eight to 12 gallons per hour of sap you can boil. Again, that's a critical element because when you're out here boiling sap, you tend to want to do it in daylight, especially when you get to the finish phase at the end. So if you know you can boil, say about 10 gallons per hour, you've probably got about 10 hours of usable daylight so you're looking at maybe 80 to 100 gallons with that large unit in the back. With one like this, you can maybe do two, maybe two and a half gallons per hour, even three at the most. You probably can only make about 30 gallons per day on a unit like this in daylight. Here's another example of a pan I found. Uh, this one comes from a restaurant uh, supply chain. You can see that this would work nicely. It's about six inches high. Uh, it's a little smaller. But if you only have, say, 10 or 20 gallons in a day, you probably would be able to use something like this, especially on, say, a turkey fryer. Some people work out there or late at night. I prefer to do things in the daylight. Again, when you get to the critical finishing phase, you want to work in the daylight. So that's just some of the different pan selections we have. The pan is going to determine how much sap you can boil in a given day.